Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Inked RC. Um, just going over my kits, and uh, up next is my crawler or scaler actually. Um, so it's the SCX10, obviously, and uh, it's got the F650 body on it. Um, painted by myself, uh, my first paint job. Uh, nothing special, but I didn't want just a black, um, so I wanted to do a little two tone here. And uh, I think it looks pretty good. I didn't tint out the windows yet, only because I didn't have the tire tint or the uh, window tint at the time. Um, my uh, local hobby shop did not have them, so uh, gonna get, I have the some now, uh, so I might tint them, but I might not. I'm not really quite sure yet. I'm gonna tint out some of the windows on my RCs and kind of see how I like them. Um, so this one here I've done a lot too as well. I pretty much stripped her right down to the bone when I first got her. Um, and uh, built her up from there with different things that I wanted on it. I uh, did a lot of research on what uh, what would work good on it and what wouldn't work good. I personally think it's a little bit high right now. I haven't ran it very much but I'm going to try and run it as is and just kind of see how I like it. Um, but uh, you know I think I think a little bit lower would be almost nicer for center of gravity but um, in, in the other sense, I just don't want it to rub on these on the body as well because these two two tires are, uh, you know, they're pretty chunky and they might uh, they might rub on them pretty good. So, um, but I'm gonna try them out. Um, I just I need a couple more things for this one as well. Um, it actually was almost done, except for with the rims. Um, sorry, guys. The tires, the rims, are kind of like a three-piece design where they uh, they have the outer ring, so they are a true bead lock. They have an outer ring, kind of see a little better, it's kind of hard to see actually. Uh, they have an outer ring. And then they have the actual rim itself, and on the inside, they have that silver hub inside there, which bolts onto there. You can kind of tell with the way the um, the screws are on, you know, where it gets bolted on. So you can kind of see that the hub is uh, bolted on like that. And they come in different uh, lengths, so the actual hub is kind of hard to see. You kind of see the depth on it right there, but they come in different lengths. And I got this one not knowing which depth I needed. Um, thought that it would work just fine. And they do not. Uh, the rears work no problem, but the fronts, they rub. Um, so I'm just going to have to order a set of longer ones and then slap them on here. Um, oh, as for tires, these are the Pitbull Rock Beasts. Um, I haven't actually really seen very many people run these. Um, I know they're not very common. Uh, probably a lot of people don't even know they exist. Uh, but they're actually, this tire is actually a replica of a actual tire you can get for your one-to-one -one vehicle. Um, as well as quads. They do come for quads as well. Um, and, uh, yeah, Pitbull makes really nice tires. Um, it's really soft. It's softer than I thought it was when I first got it. Uh, but it's supposed to be one of the nicer tires to go with. Um, I've read a few forums of people that have them, and they said they work great. Um, again, I haven't really run these very much, but uh, um, from what it looks like and what it feels like, it feels like they're going to be really nice tires. Um, it's going to be a primarily a trail truck, but I do have some rocks around my yard and uh, in my field that I'm probably going to do some crawling on and stuff just uh just for the hell of it, but, um, so, and the rims are Vanquish, and they are aluminum, um, and I know a lot of people don't really go with aluminum very often, see if I can get a close up on that, kind of hard to tell, there we go, sorry guys, it's a horrible camera, and, uh, but, wicked little rims, um, really solid, really nice, um, I kind of, wasn't sure if I wanted to go with aluminum. Um, wasn't going to originally, but uh, 
figured I liked these rims and there wasn't very many of the plastic ones that I liked so I figured I would just go with what I like instead of you know what I maybe should be or shouldn't be getting kind of deal um, so you know if I wreck them I wreck them they were quite expensive um, but well worth it I think they were, look amazing um, the only thing I wish that the bolts or the screws uh, were black but that uh, I can change those I can always get some black ones if I need to if I wanted to later but uh, let's get down to the nitty gritty and uh, get underneath here let me just give you a little tour of uh, the front here funny story about this Tekken sticker up top here um, I actually had a different um, different post set up and I'll show you underneath and um, what I did is I actually had to drill two more holes so in order to cover up those holes I just put a sticker on top um, I think it looks good like that um, really uh, actually almost glad that I had did that um, and I got lights on the front there I don't have them hooked up right now but uh, they are there probably gonna replace them at least the front ones here with uh, the winch and then just maybe just keep these side ones there um, might actually as well get the um, the other grill from the honcho uh, I'll just set you guys down here and open up there we go so yeah it looks very similar doesn't it to everybody else's um, <laughs> but uh, so I got a Tekken 35 turn heavy duty motor on there um, ESC is inside this box here that is waterproof um, but I have taken it apart to take out some stuff and program the ESC a little bit more so I, um, I it's not waterproof right now obviously um, but all I do is I just put a little bit of liquid electrical tape inside the hole put the screws in and then just coat put like two coatings of liquid, elect liquid electrical tape all the way around and uh, yeah she's sealed good and I got all the wires coming out of here um, so got the battery one here from the SC and one here from the motor I have this so that I can disconnect and put a new motor on there if I need to so I don't have to cut wires all the time um, and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for, for the underneath there uh, runner on a 2 cell 6500 milliamp from max amps um, I use this battery for a few of my rigs. Really nice battery, actually. Works good. Um, and just trying to think what else I've done to it. Uh, battery tray I put in front for weight, um, just to kind of help with the weight distribution on the front. Um, the stock um, steering servo waterproofed it up, um, and uh, so that uh, it actually works pretty good for a stock servo I think um, I'll probably end up getting a, new, a better one um, I don't like stock servos to begin with really um, they're fine to begin with but once you get into a little bit more usage then I usually need and require a new steering silver servo at the very least um, so I think that's about it for this rig um, not much else really to say about her um, like I say, it's probably about 95% done, 90-95% done. A um, few more things here and there to update on and to uh, kind of fix. And uh, these hubs are one of the big things to get those done. Once those are done, I can put a receiver in here and battery and then go. So, on that note guys, I'm going to end her out. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment, rate, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think. See you guys on the forum. See ya.